My uncle, Kent Henry, was a rock guitarist. He played guitar for Steppenwolf. They made songs like Magic Carpet Ride and Born to be Wild. I've only seen my uncle Kent twice in my life. At the Christmas party my cousin was hosting and at his funeral. While in Steppenwolf, my uncle made some bad choices. He got in with the wrong crowds and smoked some pretty bad stuff. Kent joined Steppenwolf as a replacement guitarist for Larry Byram after they heard him play guitar in Blue's Image. The song they most liked from him was Ride Captain Ride. John Kay, the singer, was doing a solo album, and when he was done, Kent was not allowed to rejoin the band, and they didn't have a reason for letting him go. But Kent wasn't one to hold a grudge, so he kept in good touch with Goldie McJohn, the new singer. They played guitar together in 77, 78, and 80. In later years of Kent's life, he settled down in Portland, Oregon. He remained there for the rest of his life and played in some local bands like Paul DeLay. During the last part of his life, Kent's had some difficult seizures that showed up when he fell off the stage at Whiskey A Go Go. He also developed an early stage of Alzheimer's disease. This is about the time that he came to the Christmas party at my cousin's. When I saw him there, he didn't look like he was an outgoing person. He just spent most of his time on the couch, and I really don't think he talked to anybody. I asked my mom why I was just sitting, and he said that Kent got some bad stuff in his life, and that's also when she told me that he was the guitarist for Steppenwolf. I really wanted to go talk to him, but I was too nervous. And now he's gone. I really regret not talking to him. A couple years went by, and I told everyone about my famous uncle. I was proud to say he was my uncle, even though he went into drugs. Then my mom said one day that Uncle Kent had passed away. I was really sad. I asked her when the funeral was, and she said she didn't know yet. I told my band teacher that he died, and they did a commemorative song in the Gordon Russell Special Olympics, Born to be Wild. When I went to my uncle's funeral, it was an open casket. That was the second time in my life that I saw him. I never thought it would be with him in a coffin. There was speaking from Goldie McJohn and a couple other people in the family. They had some memorials set up for him, and there was so much stuff I learned about him. He was a really great guy.